I really need to get my new glasses. These ones are just so old. Hey, Jenna, I'm hungry. We're gonna guide. We're gonna take you through a day of eating. I don't wanna address them as you. I guess we're gonna take you through. You can just say whatever you want. We've got a training plan, but no eating plan in this household. So things might get a little crazy. We express our freedom <laughs> in the form of eating. We have a long bike ride. What are we doing for breakfast, Jenna? Only one thing to do. I'll do it again, do it again. What are we doing for breakfast? Can you close the... Always open. All right, what are we doing for breakfast? Big day oats. Oh, yeah, that was serious. <laughs> Should we do our bougie oats? The ones oh, we got our grocery yes. out Well, some people call this a mise en place, where you put all your ingredients down on the table to have them all ready, but we like to call it T1. You gotta move fast in this operation. I got some surprises today, some of which are not out here yet. I'm a little afraid. Our big day oats bowls. We're gonna start with some oats. These look lots. Maybe I got some things in my sleep too. Blueberry, chia, muesli, and the salt. We're gonna be losing a lot of that today. One to one, oats to cinnamon. Extra cinnamon, nothing wrong with that. And a little chia seeds. That feels good. <laughs> The right way to peel a banana, Jenna. The process of being in the kitchen is to create your meal. You just get to take little bites along the way. And then when you're done taking all those little bites, you get to eat more. Had this idea last night, a blueberry banana pancake oatmeal bowl. So we're gonna throw some Vermont maple syrup in here. Straight from Trader Joe's. I'm very excited. How's that water doing? It's at like 200 degrees. Is that good enough for you? <gasps> the last minute add. Yeah. I've developed this new oat technique where I add water slowly and stir in as I pour. It's like what you do with risotto. Would you like to try it? Uh -huh. I'd love to. Good technique. Thank you. You stir with a fork or a spoon? A spoon. But, you know, fork is cool too. She needs more coffee. Oh. Hi there. Welcome back to another edition of <laughs> Big Day Oats. Of Chaos. Tasty looking oats. I like to double dose on the Whoa. cinnamon. That's what makes me so spicy. Banana corner, some hemp seeds. Do you feel like you're at a yogurt shop? That's exactly like right. A frozen yogurt shop where you can pick all of your toppings. You know what I should do one morning is just put like pure coffee grind. Pistachios, I guess, I don't know. Some California golden raisins. Limited supply on blueberries. The rest are for you. Too. Thank you. Yogurt. Little yogis. The good stuff. Whoa! Yeah, you thought you were leveling it up. Freaking genius. I know. I think that's it. Jenna, I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Jenna, can I eat it now? <laughs> yes. But how many calories do you think are in that bowl? I put 300 calories worth of maple syrup in mine. <laughs> Got my bag of food. Classic, <laughs> on full day of eating. On <laughs> full day of eating. I felt so good. So much better than I did last week. Bike fitness is coming back. Oh yeah, because you've done like eight workouts and VO2s. Anyway, I bonked. <laughs> <laughs> Fid me. Change of plans. We're gonna eat out. They're hungry and we're eating here instead. Oh my god. Chocolate milk. Nice light. Toast. Long ride chicken parm with bacon, avocado, lettuce, tomato, grilled onion. Is that a power sandwich? 
Mm -hmm. There's tacos. I think you win though. We've got three street tacos, one pollo, one carne asada, one al pastor. Got them spicy. There's too much goodness all up in here. Thirsty boy. <sighs> spicy? Just breathing. This is the best part of being a triathlete. thousand yards and it was all 100. The intervals started out pretty easy and got really fast. And the goal was to do every single 100 the same way. So I was trying to hold 103s. 107s, 108s on all of them. So I deserve this cookie. So today's practice was really freaking hard. So, let's eat! If you're cooking in this household, you gotta put your hair up or back because collectively we have a lot of hair. You know who you look like? <laughs> Our bathroom nightlight. <laughs> All right, what's for dinner? Step one, get out the chips and salsa. We gotta preheat the oven. Now the key to cutting a spaghetti squash is, I don't have a key for you. Oh God. You wanna microwave it? Yes. <laughs> if it explodes, it's my fault. How do you wanna approach our spaghetti squash? Like a Mexican theme? I swear I reorganized our fridge yesterday. I like how we have ready-made protein shakes. Some turkey feta patties. I would even throw one of these in there. Ooh, some green chili, avocado, salsa. <laughs> I'll get it. Um, if anyone out there has a better way of cutting a <laughs> spaghetti squash, you can leave it in the comments below. Oh, hi there. I hate myself for having said that. <laughs> when we train hard, we eat hard. We really like to enjoy our meals and you know, we keep them healthy. Thus, we're eating squash for dinner, but like, we make it fun. She's tracking her activity. Smart, tracking her heart rate. Some salt, pepper, garlic. What about this chili lime seasoning? Yeah. Chipotle powder. Is it gonna be spiced af? Chipotle is sweet. It's spiced, not spicy. Woo! Squash time. Bye bye now. Saute some veggies. We're on Mexican theme. We can do like a pepper onion kind of thing. Bad news. We don't have an onion. I found more veggies. A little mushroom party. Cut off the butt. That part's really woody if you keep it on. What would you call our our ethos for cooking? Just make money. I love red cabbage. Yeah, that'll be a nice addition. Every single color. Paprika. Cumin. Cayenne. The three best friends that anybody ever had. Now we forgot to put our spinach in. I want to take this opportunity to share my favorite kitchen toy because you don't have to clean it. It's um, better if you don't clean it. That, that's all seasoning. Spinach feta turkey patties. Going in. Naturally colorful chef crafted black bean and red pepper patties. Sounds pretty fiberlicious. Woo! They're definitely not ready. I wish we had stools in our kitchen. My legs are tired. Again? Might be a little underdone, but we're hungry. You wanna spaghetti squash it? Hard to do when they're 425 degrees. <laughs> what a fun dinner. You said vegetables aren't fun. You know? Really? Yeah, like just spaghetti squash and doing whatever you want with it. Yeah, like squash stew. I think I wanna crumble this guy up. Like your oat bowl corners? Feta patty? 
<laughs> There's only two corners of this thing. <laughs> this is just a meat boat. Get some veggies going. In the middle corner. A little bit of pico, some guac. Will you grab the cowboy caviar? What a cool name for something. And then hot sauce. This is kind of gross. If a restaurant ever served me this, I'd be like the happiest guy in the world. <laughs> I don't think I want this whole bird. I'll take the other half. <laughs> You know you're doing it right if you can't even see the squash on the bottom after you're done. You're telling me. Cowboy caviar, sauce, and a little guac. That's it, that's all. Because no full day of eating is complete without ice cream. I think I'm gonna do a base of oatly vanilla. And then I'm gonna go with... Vanilla, peanut butter, chocolate chunk. And then a scoop of pistachio. I didn't even get go around the horn. Go around the horn. All right, before my ice cream melts, you need to serve yourself. Right. This is the best ice cream in the world. This is the best gelato in the world. Done. Done. Yay.